Okay, here we're asked to simplify um, an algebraic fraction. And whenever you've got quadratics and algebraic fraction and you're asked to simplify it, always factorize them. Now, this is pretty complicated because this is a, a, a quadr or two quadratic equations where a, which is the coefficient of the x squared, is greater than 1. Uh, but it just takes longer. It's no, not really more difficult, just more stuff to it. So we go times these together, um, which is 60. Well, technically minus 60. And we need two numbers that times together, sorry, that add together to make the minus 11 here. So uh, I think they're going to have to be, um, probably going to have to have quite a negative, quite a big negative number and quite a small positive number. So thinking about it, probably minus 15 and 4. So 15 times 4 is 60. Therefore, minus 15 times 4 is minus 60. And minus 15 brings us all the way back to minus 15, and then add 4 moves us back to minus 11, so that works well. Okay, next step to do is we rewrite the quadratic, but instead of minus 11x, we're going to write minus 15x plus 4x, which is the minus 15 and the 4 we had, minus 20. If you don't understand any of this, please look at our videos on um, factorizing quadratics uh, which goes into this a little bit more detail okay so we're going to divide out the 3x here so we're left with x minus 5 and we're going to divide out the 4 so that would be 4 brackets x minus 5 and then we put the repeating bracket and the leftover pieces together so we've got 3x plus 4, and then we've got the repeating bracket there. Okay, one down, one to go. So the next thing we need to do is do exactly the same thing again. Oh, the wrong one. Exactly the same thing again here. So that make 110. Um, now, we need two numbers at times to go to make 110, add to go to make minus 21. So we know both of the numbers will be negative. And to be honest, when they use uh, numbers as high as 110, chances are it's just going to be 10 and something. So this will be minus 11 and minus 10. Uh, they try not to be too mean with it. Uh, you'll never get um, any of the numbers that are higher than um, 12, probably higher than 10, unless there's an easy second number. So if it's like 15 and 2, or for example, 15 and 4 we had before. Okay, so we rewrite this one. But instead of that minus 21x, we do minus 11x minus 10x plus 55. So same as before, we're going to factorize these and factorize these separately. So we're going to divide out the x here. I don't think there's anything else. No. Nope. So 2x minus 11. Now we're going to have the minus here. And I think there's a 5 we can get rid of. So 5 and then 2x. Now be careful with this bit. To get that plus 55 when we expand the bracket, this needs to be negative here, and that's a common gotcha for people, but we know that this must be a repeating bracket, so that can help us out sometimes. We can look at the repeating bracket and go, oh, hang on, it needs to be a minus for that bracket to be repeating. So x minus 10, and then put the repeating bracket. Wow, okay, right, so I'm going to rewrite this, this fraction here, but this time with its uh, factorized versions. So we've got bracket 3x plus 4, x minus 5 at the top, and at the bottom we've got x minus 5, 2x minus 11. Okay, now we're going to cross out the repeating bracket at the top and bottom. So we're going to divide top and bottom by x minus 5. So that gets rid of that and gets rid of that. So we're left with 3x plus 4 and 2x minus 11. Now these questions are really good to be practicing factorizing quadratics because you get two for the price of one with these ones. Um, but uh, for your answer, you don't need to put the brackets because there's only those expressions at the top and only that expression at the bottom. Um, but if you can go through these, and um, also a little bit of a hint is because when, when you're simplifying algebraic fractions, I mean, you, you'll pretty much always get 
a bracket in the top and bottom to simplify at the end to cross out at the end otherwise you can't simplify it so if you've done the top you can actually cheat a little bit and work out you know the fact that the bracket at the bottom will either be 3x plus 4 or x minus 5 and that can help speed things up you can also check your answer because if you don't have a repeating bracket at the top and bottom then you know you've probably done something wrong